All right, Gerard, I just picked up. I'm on uh, Blue Jack Road here. You see uh, that road coming in. It's really nice. There's some nice updated homes. They're not uh, cookie cutter homes. They're some stucco, some uh, brick, as you see here. Everybody has a very nice, well-kept yards. Uh, that's my car here parked on the road, but a uh, very nice neighborhood. Um, that's the neighbor to you. And then here's 7139. So nice uh, mailbox here. Grass looks to be well kept, obviously dormant because of the weather. Today's actually one of the colder days we've had in a long time. The palm trees could use a trimming out front, um, but it, 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 looks, it looks pretty good. Maybe a little sprucing up. You do have this, uh, this runoff area, retention area here next to your place, but um, don't foresee any issues there. Um, and here is the landscaping in the front of the home. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the exterior 360 for you. Uh, nice big AC. We'll check the year on the seller's disclosure on that for you. All the fascia looks good. Could maybe use a pressure washing, but other than that, I don't see any major issues. They got pine straw out, which is nice. So they've been doing some, some work on the exterior. All the windows look good. Um, gutters are good. We could use a, um, a better runoff system there. Um, this this um, area here, the covered um, Florida room, is really nice. They they have a brand new door installed. It looks like heavy duty. It's actually spring actuated, so it closes itself, which is nice. The one thing I was going to mention about the backyard is it's not fenced in. Um, Andrew's been working with you guys, so. Not sure if you have pets, but it is really pretty back here. They've got a little fire pit. Um, and then also I would review the HOA covenants to see if there, already, if there are any restrictions on fences because the neighbors don't have one either. But um, normally the HOA will allow you to put in a, a fence, obviously. So roof checks out. I don't see anything major um, there at all and then it looks to be uh, six inch seamless gutters which is a really good touch um, and cruising around here nice palm there um, just some more exterior yard and then up this side of the home I checked out the fascia I didn't see any glaring issues on this side either so here you see the rust color um, from the irrigation system but this tank right here is a actually a filtration system to mitigate that rust so that's why you don't see the rust color on the brick of the exterior of the home which is a problem in a lot of places in florida and the neighbors have the similar setup um so they got some tires they're throwing away i guess but now i'm going to take you into the front of the home now that we've done the exterior walk around and then again, I'll just show you the neighborhood one more time so you got a good idea. And then I'll hold my phone up so you can hear that road noise if you hear that. And I'm actually in an area where the wind is blocked pretty good. It is a pretty windy day, but um, pretty light road noise. And I was able to hear it a little bit in the backyard, just so you know. Um, but again, roof looks good. From what I can see, obviously three-dimensional shingles. Um, nice windows, good looking gutters. That all looks good. Here's the entryway to the home. Nice arch. And uh, it's very clean, smells good. Nice lighting. I turned on a lot of lights for uh, before shooting the video. Checked out um, the roof. It does have popcorn ceilings, but they did do an awesome job on the texture. You can obviously change color if you're not a fan of the colors as we walk through. So this area could be a formal dining room or office space, your choice. Does have the trade ceilings, pretty cool light fixture there. Um, there's the window going out the front and then here's the entry to the kitchen so older fridge um, white fridge and then um, the other appliances are black 
and then a stainless uh, dishwasher pretty cool uh, countertops and the the restrooms match as well so that's pretty awesome looks like a new sink um, underneath here garbage disposal looks newer no major signs of leaking which I wouldn't expect since that's a newer appliance cabinets are original they could always be painted if you don't like the the look here's the stove microwave looks to be really new actually uh, pantry space got a really big pantry um, and I'm gonna try to be as thorough as possible here's the light fixture in the uh, kitchen looks to be updated not the old style um, recessed light there which is nice and again um, you asked about the cracks in the drywall I see a little bubble in the popcorn there, but it doesn't look to be a stain as if it was a leak. There is no cracking um, there. And then the windows are very nice. Look, I'm, I'm pretty sure those are updated. We could ask, but they do look to be the newer windows that pop out to allow you to clean the backside of the screen or uh, the backside of the window with the screen still installed. So this area could be, you know, a coffee area, or if you wanted to use it for a dining room area, you would have to use a smaller table, but these guys have it like a little coffee uh, set up. And then the main living area, they have it set up like an eat-in bar here, which is cool. Nice opening, I'll back up so you can see that from this angle going into the kitchen. Here's the, here's the living room area. And then the uh, Florida room, obviously, a window going out to the Florida room. So I'll show you the guest wing of the house um, first. All the bedrooms are, are actually really big. Here's the uh, air handler. Um, looks great. I don't know the year. It's a 16 sear, so I know it's, it's going to be newer because they didn't make 16 sear uh, back in the day. And then the AC filter area looks good, so it's very clean, well maintained. That's a good indicator that every inspector is going to look uh, right off the bat. So um, here's your here's your guest bath. Again, they've updated the vanity, matching the kitchen cabinets as well. Shower uh, looks to be updated, all new fixtures, which is nice. Um, Toilet, pretty standard, no signs of leaking. Looks like a newer toilet as well. I'm gonna turn around and go to this bedroom here. It's the smaller one of the two. There's a linen closet. Um, this one they're using for an office. It is smaller. It's the smallest of the bedrooms, but uh, still enough room for pretty good sized desk, an old school filing cabinet, and um, a, it's either a fold out or a trundle bed I'm not sure but um, closet space nice closet space not a walk-in but uh, second best thing behind a walk-in I'm gonna start turning off the lights because it did a number on me turning all these on <laughs> um, here is your laundry room with the pocket door which is nice because that is a space saver let me turn the light on in the hallway I didn't mean to turn that one off Okay, there we go. So this bathroom is pretty cool because you can walk through either side, right? So it's accessible for either guest. And then you got the pocket door, the laundry room. Uh, they put in a cabinet here. So you got some space there. I don't know if that, oh, it opens from this side. Oh, that's a, actually an ironing board. Pretty old school, but nice. You got all their stuff here on the shelves and then another, um, area for storage and cleaning supplies which is very nice and to this guest bedroom it's a nice size bedroom plenty of room for a queen and a dresser they got an end table on that side so just one end table um, pretty standard for a guest bed if you're curious about furniture we can get you the measurements to the rooms um, again a good closet space And then the garage, which is uh, 
in move out mode, but um, to give you an idea, looks good. Nice garage space, breaker there. Uh, I'm gonna leave their stuff alone, of course. Let me get, flip off the light. Okay, so you've seen this wing of the house now. I'm gonna walk you guys to the to the. Uh, master so here i am back in the, the ma uh, living room area there's the kitchen again and then the entry of the home if you can't tell it it, it, it looks and and lives pretty big i like this uh touch here on the the mantle where they've textured it by the fireplace then it goes into the tile recessed light pretty cool picture or artwork nice fish so that should give you a good idea, 360 there. And now the master is huge. Like I haven't been in a, a master this big in a while. So I think that this space may have been added on a bit with the Florida room, which is awesome. So there's a Florida room entrance door from the master. And then I'll try to give you, oh, you also have a fireplace in your bedroom, which is awesome. You know, you can use it in Florida or, or don't, but to have the, Fireplace in here is pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep rolling to bathroom. Uh, the master bath is very nice. Stand up shower, um, dual vanity, and then the tub here. Nice little window there. Separate room for the for the John, and then a big walk-in closet. Lots of space. Lots of space. Let's start flipping off lights as we go up to the Florida room and then we'll wrap this thing up. So, all right. So there's the fireplace. Doesn't, that's a gas fireplace and it's actually not a separate fireplace. It's the same fireplace. So it's dual use. So I just now realized that, but it's gas, uh, not a wood burning. So you don't have to worry about uh, any issues there. And then the Florida room is super nice. They have it decorated here with a little hangout space, lights around it. It is not heated and ventilated. Um, little workout space there. And then two ceiling fans, which is very nice. But these windows and the door that I com commented on earlier, they're, they're done right not cheap and then uh like i said this door is brand new it has the spring loaded so it closes itself which is very nice and then here is the the backyard once again see if i can get that road noise if you can hear that All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. I hope I didn't miss anything. If I did, just uh, let me know and we'll see what we can do. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Super nice house, about 2,100 square feet. Uh, they're asking 345. There's already one offer in. We have till noon today, so let us know. Look forward to working with you. Thank you.